Good morning and welcome to our morning devotion series where we're sharing a devotion on each chapter of the book of Psalms. I was asked to share a, a devotion on Psalm chapter 2, which is kind of an unconventional psalm to do a devotion on. And I'm actually I'm highlighting a verse that might be even more unconventional. But here it is. It's, it's Psalm chapter 2, um, verse 4. I'm just going to read the, the first part of it. Um, and it says this. He who sits in the heavens laughs. Have you ever thought about God's laughter? You know, laughter is a, a social signal, a nonverbal form of communication um, that, that we use often. You know, if we get a text, a, a funny text from a, a friend or a, a family member, you know, it's not enough to just laugh privately, right? We've got to let them know that we're laughing by sending them a LOL. Well, in this chapter, God's laughter communicates two distinct messages to two distinct groups of people. And they're distinguished by how they respond to his chosen anointed king. And just a, a side note, as, as I was looking at this verse, looking into it, you know, this uh, part of this passage makes a cameo in the New Testament, um, Acts chapter four. And so if you get a chance, you can check that out. Uh, it's really good. It, it kind of brings us full circle as we're talking about Jesus, um, who, of course, is the, um, the anointed one, the king of kings. And so it's just a really cool uh, thing I found as I was looking at, at, at the passage. But let's talk about this, uh, this, this chapter. It's a little confusing. So let's just kind of break it down a little bit. Um, the uh, first verse is, why do the nations rage and the people's plot in vain? Then it goes into the next section, which kind of specifies that futile plot. Verse 4 is the, the, the verse that we just read. Verses 5 and 6 is where God is, is responding um, to their rebellion and pronouncing judgment and, and announcing that he set up his king in Zion. Uh, verses 7 through 9 describe uh, the coronation. And it highlights a promise that uh, the nations would be his heritage. And then the last verses um, talk about uh, just rebuking the rulers of the earth, telling them to serve and to bow uh, before his chosen um, king. And so, like, to summarize just this whole chapter, it's basically just an admonition to, to the nations, to all of us, um, to repent from a re rebellion and pride and to bow down and to worship um, God's chosen king. So in this in this passage, you know, the, this laughter for those that oppose the king, it communicates their judgment. It communicates um, their folly. But for those of us who have accepted the king, that laugh bring, brings comfort. It, it brings this sense of God's sovereignty um, and his providence. And so you might be listening to this devotion. You might not um, consider yourself a friend of God or have accepted um, that king. Verse 12 gives us a clue to, to one of the first steps is kiss the son, embrace him, open yourself uh, to him, believe him, accept him. And for those of us who already have, let God's LOL dispel our fears, let it bring peace and comfort to our souls each and every day.